Hello, and welcome to the City of Boynton Beach's permitting software, Sages Gov. In this video, I will be showing you how to apply for a sub permit. Once you've logged on to your account, you'll see that you have four options. Now, before you can apply for a sub permit, there are two pieces of key information that you're going to need. You will need to know the type of permit application that was selected for the master, as well as the project case number for the master project. In this case, we're going to go ahead and apply for a, a sub permit on a commercial permit application type. Now, this screen is asking you if we are applying for a permit, a primary permit, or a sub permit. We're going to go ahead and select sub permit here. And we're also going to check here this box confirming that the primary project has already been submitted through SAGES and that you have available with you the project case number. So we're going to hit continue. Okay. Here on this screen, it's asking you whether you would like to provide the primary permit information. You're always going to want to select yes. I have it saved, so I'm just going to go ahead and paste it here. And we're going to hit search. With that project number, any project number that was assigned will go ahead and populate. This looks like what I'm here. This is what I'm applying for. We're going to hit save and continue. Now, the contractor registration. We're going to go ahead and check yes, that you have the state contractor's license, the business tax, and the workers' comp all available to be uploaded. We'll hit save and continue. This screen went ahead. It's, this is the address that we are applying for. And this is the parcel number. We're going to hit save and continue. Now this here is a duplicate of the application that was submitted by the general contractor on the master project. We now need to change this application to reflect the subcontractor's scope of work and information. So in box three, we're going to go ahead and uncheck the structural box and we're going to select electrical. Now for the further work description, I want to go ahead and put the scope of work in that's going to be done under my sub permit. So we'll put here electric for game room. In this same box five, the value here should be changed to zero if my value for the work being done as a sub was included in the master project. Now here in box six, I need to provide the information for the subcontractor, okay? So we're gonna go ahead, our subcontractor name is Chester Roney. And he is with Sparks Won't Fly. We'll go ahead and enter an email address here. Okay, his license number, first name. An address. and a telephone number. Now, very important, boxes seven and eight will need to reflect the name of the qualifier. And we will hit save and continue. Okay. This is going to bring us to the upload page. On this page, you're going to be required to upload the contractor's registration. So let's click here, select files to upload, contractor license, business tax receipt, and workers comp. Now that those three documents have uploaded, we're going to go ahead and assign the file type to each individual one. So the first one will be the tax receipt, second one will be the contractor's state license, and the last one will be the worker's compensation. We'll go ahead and hit save and continue. Now this screen, this is a screen just before the submittal. 
You can click on the location, verify the address and parcel number. If you click here on this tab, you can actually see the application form again and just go over it, make sure that everything has been changed and filled out. And then the last tab here, which would be the uploaded files, you can verify that the three licenses with the top three file types have all been uploaded as well. If everything looks good to go, go ahead and hit submit. and you will get confirmation that your submission has been received. Again, thank you and have a great day.